Hi, my name is Crypto Nerd, and in this video, I'll go through the latest developments in the crypto world. Before we get started, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Currently sitting at 251 subscribers, hoping to hit the thousand mark as soon as possible. So it's been a turmoil ter week, shall we say, for um, stocks in general. Um, we saw that the stocks continue to slide. The S&P 500 is almost at, well, it hit its all-time low. Um, June knows um, of 361 were surpassed. It's currently sitting at 359. If I show you here the latest numbers, so if we go to Michael J. Kramer, I don't know why he's blocked me on my account. I have been referencing him a lot, as I do respect his opinion. I'm really unsure why he's been blocked, why he blocked me, in fact. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at the, um, the chart in comparison to 2008. As you can see, we're here. So I think within the next two weeks, we could see the bottom around 3,200. We're currently at 3,585, around that mark. Um, we surpassed the June lows this week. So it's fascinating to see how this is developing. So usually you, you will see the bottom around the end of October, although there are some other macro developments in progress. As we know, the Ukraine war is still going on. Uh, the Fed are continuing to rise interest rates. So we have to keep an eye on that quite closely. But as I say, I think in the next two weeks, I'll probably look to put my buy orders in sometime this month if this pattern continues to happen. So that'll give you a good idea. If you just look at the, that graph, the white is where we are now and the yellow is 2008. Um, since then, we've seen a number of other stuff that have happened. So if I just go to my Twitter account now, you'll see um, there's been some developments that have taken place since then. So yeah, 13.48% uh, of stocks closed above their 200-day moving average. Um, bottom in 2009 was 1.2%. Bottom in 2020 was 2008 uh, So we're currently at December 2007, 11, 2007 levels, levels, levels. Sorry. Um, uh, so yeah, quite a bit of a way to go, as I said to you. So let's wait for the next two weeks before we see any action. Um, this tweet was put out last week. So just to give you an idea. Um, so yeah, as I said, I still think there's a long way to go before we bottom out fully. In terms of other news, um, there's been some FUD going around that there's an emergency Federal Reserve meeting on Monday. This is not true. I thought I'd point that out. So the Fed holds these inter-meeting talks most months here. Examples from August and September where the topic discussion was exactly the same as it is on Monday. People are pointing out to the expedited procedures bit on the Fed website. Um, so you'll see this a lot. On the, I've seen this on Stockwitz and other forums. This is not true. So just bear that in mind. And here's an example here. Yeah, so, so I did retweet this earlier for everyone to have an idea. So don't believe the FUD that's going around on Twitter. So there you go, nothing here to see, emergency Fed meeting. You can see this was retweeted 218 times and 535 times. It's also worth noticing Credit Suisse look like they're on the way down, almost like a Lehman Brother moment. Um, we saw that their share price has almost crashed 60% all year. It's trading around the $3 mark. A lot of people were expecting Credit Suisse to go bankrupt. The collapse in Credit Suisse from 14.9 to $3.9. So, yeah, I expect the Switzerland bank to uh, bail them out. You see it's trending on Twitter still. One fun fact worth noting is if you invested $1,000 in Bitcoin 10 years ago, you'd have around about $1.5 in your account. So, always important to note that we're always looking at long term on crypto. Um, and then the rich bad guy said, if the Fed continue to rise interest rates, you'll get a stronger um uh, interest rate US dollar will get stronger causing gold, silver and Bitcoin prices to continue to go lower. I do expect another 75 basis point increase. Uh, we saw last week the Fed's favourite inflation indicator was imported, uh, reported PCE number for August came in at 6.2% year on year above the expectation of 6%, 0.3% month on month above expectations of 0.1%. Course PCE for August came in at 4.9% above the expectation of 4.7%. Um, we also saw last week the judge overruled um, the SEC to turn over the Hyman documents in the uh, Ripple case as well. So that's obviously a big development for XRP fans. So please continue to watch that. Uh, I do expect XRP to win the case case as well. And just to wrap things up, I just thought I'd 
tweet this. Um, I, I do like this guy again, Ted Talks Macro. Um, the next US CPI print is just, I think it's October the 13th, so two weeks away. Current expectation is headline to be 0.3% month on month plus 8.2% year on year. Previous was 8.3%, so expected to decline 0.1%. Um, core expected to be 0.5%. Previous was 6.3%, so it's meant to be up again. Uh, so core is becoming higher. Um, between now and then, the US PCCI will show how inflation is tracking with the US economy. As I said, it's coming higher. Um, so again, worth noting that as well. Um, could show that. Uh, um, I know a lot of people are saying that uh, inflation has peaked, but if core continues to rise higher and we see gas prices go up and other prices go up, we can expect it to go up further. Uh, Friday is definitely a big day for markets. As I said to you, the PCI, this was last week's tweet. The data came out. You saw that um, PCIe came up higher. So, yeah, I do expect inflation to go up. The Fed to continue raising hikes. Um, so a little uncertainty still in the market. Uh, just to give you my predictions, I think Bitcoin will go up to around about 20,500 to uh, wipe out all the shorts. And then it will trade to all time lows at 17,000. It will beat the lows of June of 17,622. So I'm expecting a small movement sometime this week first to go to the upside 20,500 20,100 and then i expect us to go in at all-time lows we saw the spy index drop as i said to below june lows. bitcoin's been holding up quite well uh, capo of crypto is a good page to follow um you'll see he's been quite realistic on his uh predictions pretty much saying the same thing expects bitcoin to go up to around about in fact he expects it to go up to 20,500 and then after that targets between 14 to 16k i'll be targeting around the 13k mark myself let me know your thoughts below if you found this video useful please hit the like and subscribe button i'm hoping to hit the thousand mark um as soon as possible so yeah thank you everyone for your time